On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, remember that time where I reviewed and opened a bunch of really cool Series 12 Roblox items and then said, oh, stay tuned for a few more great sets like this Bloxburg Camping Set and a few more of these Deluxe Mystery Pack Series 3 Build-Up Figure Sets and some other interesting things and then never did anything? Well, now I'm doing something, finally catching up. I gotta see this camping pack. It's been just staring at me. The adventuresomeness of this pack is great. And then I want to scare myself with this spider, spider build a figure. Before I was like, I don't want to do that. Now I'm thinking, I want to do that. So picked those up and a few more mystery boxes. Lots of stuff to explore for Roblox catch up day. Finally getting a chance to look at some of these great packs that are still quite available. So let's see if we can explore this campsite and hopefully don't get attacked by spider, spider. Squirrel Stampede. The camping pack sure looks phenomenal. They always do such a great job with these multi-packs. I really want to go camping now. Six figures included, accessories, and of course that mighty green Roblox tent. Ah, look at that scenery. I yearn for summertime. Lots of crew in this pack. Welcome to Bloxburg. Explore the great outdoors with your best friends. Welcome to Bloxburg. Darren included George, Jack, Lily, Pearl, and Tom plus virtual items and a code. So let's get these guys out and enjoy a night of camping. All right, so what do we got here? We have a variety of camp specific characters. Tricky Bar is getting accessories matched up with character, right? Tom with a lamp, Jack with an ax, Lily's got that cheeseburger, Darren, Darren looks like a marshmallow cooker, Pearl has drank too many Bloxies, and then, of course, George has to have the spatula as the chef. Such a great camping-themed set. I, I just feel like we're there. I, I feel relaxed and... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. There's ants all over this campsite. It is such a pain. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. And all I have are ants tickling my legs. So the big accessories included are this cute little fire pit. And it almost feels like it was going to light up, but it doesn't. That's too bad, it would have been neat had it had like a little LED feature. You can remove the flame if you want, and in fact, maybe place on Tom's head. And then we can all gather around Tom's hair in the fire. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Tom's hair, it just, it's so comforting. The other big accessory ticket with this one is the giant tent. This is the piece that you would love to have when abandoned at grandma's or cousin Filbert's and you have nothing to do but someone somehow miraculously dropped you with this Bloxburg camping crew box. You're sitting there going, I have nothing to do but play with these guys for eternity. That's awesome. The tent is pretty simple. It breaks apart into pieces, sort of. Maybe once you built it, it stays there forever. I guess I'm afraid to even try now, but there's our tent, a little bed inside. I didn't want lacerations by re-unbuilding it. Maybe I can break the base off. There we go, see, it, it just builds together um, into a nice little green tent. Tent piece. I mean, nothing is more exciting than a tent piece, right? You could have like a multi-wheeled battle attack vehicle with launching missiles and lasers and sound effects and everything, but instead we get this tent and it's beautiful. Oh, Tom's hair went out. I think Tom needs to work on his hair a little bit. Let's look a little closer at the figures. What do we got here? I think Darren looks the most camp prepared with his blue checkered flannel shirt, nice hiking boots, and this nice warm wool cap. So Darren's ready to go. Jack is obviously there to kill everybody. He looks very mad and grumpy. His face is just, uh, you can't totally see it with the beard, but he is mad. So he's obviously going to kill everybody. Or, or maybe he's just warning everybody about Tom here. Because Tom is actually kind of specifically scaring me right now with his hair being backwards. It's backwards hair man and he's here to kill everyone. So there's some issues there. Then we've got... Pearl, and Pearl is the happy girl. She probably had too much fun at the campsite and is now going to regret it a day later. And then we've got George. George is here to cook them all a fancified meal. Know that the meal isn't ready yet. And of course, Lily's here. Lily is eating one of the burgers that George has made. Lily's all about food with her pizza shirt, ponytail hair. All these characters are really specifically perfect for camping. So seriously though, I'm totally into this pack. I knew I wanted it the moment I saw it. I'm so glad I finally got to fit it in for review. I just now have to work on trying to find how to get rid of these ants because they're making camping just so, so itchy. 
so so itchy. Oh, the ant stole Lily's hamburger. Oh, that's too bad. While the fire's going, let's tell some campsite stories. The Candy Sweetheart Coercion, Part 10. Get him! As all the squirrels attack the giant candy sweetheart T-Rex. And smash them to pieces. Ah! Finally, the Candy Sweetheart Coercion is over. Wait, look! One's left, yells Tiny Chipmunk. I'm sorry. Oh, how cute. I can't stay mad at that. Friends? Yes, let's be friends. Hug. Punch? Okay, stop! Landry, you just punched out a defenseless chocolate bunny. The end. Question mark. So while the camping crew receives interesting stories from Big Brain Simulator Dude, I can finally get to work on this Series 3 collection of deluxe mystery pack characters. We've got Mall Cop Marty, but more importantly on the back here, we're gonna try to build Spider. Spider. Why is spider repeated twice? Spider. Last time I was looking at these and thought that would be the most horrific thing to ever build and I'd never touch it. But then I thought, well I gotta do that then. All you have to do is collect those six figures, so let's do that. Although that Livetopia mech was pretty sweet too. Anyhow, let's see what we got for uh, the great mall cop. What I love about the mall cop is his belly. I don't think I've seen or picked up a Roblox character figure yet with such an extension belly. It's just a big block brick coming out of the, the stomach area of this guy. Nice little nose piece too. He's really unique. Definitely one I may just place up on my uh, Hall of Fame favorite Roblox figures. He's just so unique. So kind of saw that guy and that kind of set off the whole series too. Uh, what else do you get with these? Uh, you get these tips and tricks cards for, uh, what is this game? Mall Cop Security? Is that the mall? Never played it. Should try it. Uh, yellow buttons, earn more income. So make sure you unlock them first. Interesting. Uh, so lots of pieces included. A Viking hat. Okay, now we're talking. A segue to ride in the mall. This just made this figure a hundred times even cooler. He's going on the wall of fame. He's going on the wall of fame. Oh, he's not balanced yet to go on the wall of fame. And, um, oh, creepy. We got the torso of spider. Oh, a leg. That's just great. And exclusive virtual item code. It is a early morning bacon scarf. Haven't, haven't we seen the bacon scarf before? We saw bacon something. Oh, and with the camping set real quick, we did get the um, dial dual toasted marshmallows. So that would be kind of fun to carry around. Um, and I think that's everything. No, wait, one more item. A flashlight. Uh, so how do we get this guy to stand without falling over? First, let's get his flashlight on. Okay, it naturally wants to fall. Oh, there we go. If you lean your character forward enough, he's not gonna fall over. So there, there's a, whoa, watch out. Oh, he's still a little tippy. There's our security cop. One of the cooler figures. And I suppose, yeah, no, I don't think this will work. No, that's not, oh, that's a whole headpiece. Uh, hang on, e e. Oh, that's tight. It's always tight when they're new. That sounded like I just broke my poor mall cop. Um, you can <laughs> you can do this too. So if you're kind of like, uh, my mall cop is too benevolent, we'll place this helmet on and now he's like Thor the mall conqueror, ready to lay his rules down on anyone who shoplifts. So that was seriously wicked cool with the first deluxe mystery pack for series three that we just saw, mall cop. Now we're gonna go over to Combat Rift, Master Samurai. Seems like we've opened a few samurai over the years, especially when we did those Ninja Legends packs. The red samurai here, probably the most interesting warrior piece of the group, so I kind of want to see it. What do we got? Master Samurai! Master- oh, he just keeps falling over. Master Samurai is here. 
Oh, this guy's a warrior out for blood. I say, look at the redness of this suit. Oh, it's so beautiful. Almost robotic. Could be a robot under there. Master Samurai is packaged with a whole bunch of pets, which are pretty neat. We got this little dude. We've got this Master Wu looking like guy. And one more, a rabbit. A rabbit is here to aid him on his quest. Plus a delicious looking samurai weapon. Look at this thing. This thing is powerful. It's like two knives extended together by a bow. Very fantastic. Virtual item code. We've got a ninja bunny pal. That's, that's our bunny character right there. And most, most uh, disturbing, we've got another piece of spider. Is that his like lower torso? How do we even build this guy? I'm assuming this goes here. This is, oh, that's his abdomen. That's disgusting. That's just great. And so this probably goes maybe like this. These are his legs. No, that's an arm. We got an arm too. And I don't know which which where these arms fit in yet. Uh, we'll just keep working on that and just try to keep my stomach from turning. So is this one silly or serious? We've got Muscle Legends Muscle King. It's got Super Nude back there, pretty exciting. Let's see what we got. What does this guy remind me of? Kind of like Toe Jam and Earl or something. He's got a ultra grumpy printed face, more printed so than a regular Roblox fig. Those teeth, those teeth are highly illustrated as well as those eyebrows and eyes. Wow. Typically you do not see this much detail going into a face and this giant crown piece accentuates that. Some good accessories with the pack. We've got some boxing gloves. which softly fit over the figure's hands, real nice. Uh, more legs, that's just creepy. And an arm, punching stand, and a exercise training weight. I really gotta get a table that's stable. So that dude's certainly cool. I could see like the mall cop trying to chase him down from like going rage at a uh, sporting goods store or something, like trying to steal something. Half the series, half the spider, let's build more Survive the Night merch. Okay, this one's actually really cool too in this series. Maybe the most serious looking, ooh, scary guy. What do we got? There he is. Merch, what does that exactly stand for? Merchinary? Merchant, merchant. Uh, we've got a merch helmet as a virtual item code. Did we see the code for a boxer dude? It was a workout bag. And we've got a bag included with merch. <laughs> so let's place on backpack there. Uh, I always forget which way it goes. That way, that looks about right. And oh, we've got this walking cane, <laughs> kind of funny. We've got a lamp for his camp. We've got a revolver. And we have more arms and legs. Great. What kind of face do we have under this? It's really interesting, very robotic. Uh, can we remove this cloak? This whole giant cloak piece? Yeah, we can. Huh. Kind of like a little robot dude with the uh, triple eye scans on one side and one red LED on the other. Or it could still be a mask, so it could be either or. I do not know the game, but it is one of the cooler figures of this group. Human spider pieces everywhere. How about something delightful? We've got Hide and Seek Extreme Jake. I've been looking for a good hide and seek game for a while. For some reason, I can't find the one I used to play. Oh, wait. All right, everybody help me out. I used to play a great hide-and-go-seek game on Roblox, and there may have been a few different versions where you would go into a map as a character piece like this guy, and you would find an item like this camera, and then you would touch the camera, and then you would turn into the camera, and that would be your hiding spot. And then other people, the hider-seeker, would be like looking around trying to find you, and then he would go, oh, I bet it's this guy because he had a radar, and then he would get you and kill you. And I have not been able to find that exact game. The hide-and-seek games that I've been finding lately do not do that, so kind of help me out in the comments. Tell me what is the best hide and seek. Maybe it is this one. I'm gonna have to check this one out again. Hide and seek extreme. Look for teleporters and jump ads. They can grant you access to the best hiding spots. So I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I had gotten massively confused. Oh, oh great, a head to the spider spider. That is sick. So if you want the spider head, it comes with this guy. Seems like the most important parts of the build a figure, this guy for hide and seek, and mall cop for the body of the spider. You probably don't need all arms and legs. Included, we've got, oh, this is a really nice golden roar, roar buck coin, look at that. Definitely worth it for this figure, I like this guy. Oh yeah, the camera, he has a camera. I think he has a camera. When I was opening packs, it fell on the floor, so it could've came from someone else. Uh, another arm. And a little UFO hat, headpiece. Uh, scratch off code, we've got uh, some film. 
Capture the moment film backpack. A film backpack, I kind of like that, as a camera guy. And for our last deluxe mystery pack figure build, we've got Tower Heroes, the Demolitionist. This one's pretty funny. There's always like a really funny one included with each series. This would be the funny one. Funny one, I say, kind of like not a typical body type, like a Jawa or an Ewok or something funny. So there we go, collect them all. And there's a Demolitionist, a little shorter of a character build, but so perfect. I like the uniqueness of it. Backpack included with TNT, lots of explosives with this dude. We've got this explosive, which could be used as a head, a full headpiece explosive, and then something to carry. Bug out. Oh, that must go with a spider, so spider has some bug out stuff. Another leg for spider. Here's our little card for tower heroes. Sounds like something fun I should try. Demolitionist is the boss in corporate chaos. Defeat him before he destroys the Lemon Corporation building. Does it have to do with this guy? Also, we've got a little hat for Demolitionist. Hard hat, exclusive code. So yeah, really funny little character here. Same articulation, I believe, with the arms. And well, the legs just kind of rotate out, so maybe a little bit less, but because it's kind of a unique character piece, it's fun to collect. Always fun to collect the unique ones. So, somewhere in here we have a nasty spider build. A nasty, nasty spider character build that I swore I would never do. But then I thought, you gotta do what you don't sometimes. So there's a head, a leg, a body, several legs. How many arms do we have with this guy? Oh, at least one, two, three, four arms and four human legs. That is creepy. So I'm assuming we can just place his head up like so with the shirt striped going down, and then we can start somehow popping in arms maybe? Ooh, that's creepy. Which direction does it go? I think we kind of want his hands to kind of crawl, um, like so. I don't know if these are character specific uh, spots. Can we rotate those wrists? Ew, I'm, I'm already creeped out. What is that? Seriously, what is that? That is just wrong. Wrong in a hundred different levels. Uh, let's just go with his legs first. So there's a leg. Did I do that leg right? Oh, he even steps forward. So wrong. So unbelievably weird. And there we go. So now it's just kind of like a human who's been like, hey, check it out. I've just got my double arms and my double legs. Or, well, undouble legs. Now we're going to double this up. So we'll place another leg in. And you can kind of have fun by kicking a leg up. That's silly. I assume all four legs are in the back. And I also assume you can kind of, um, I don't know, you can flip those either way, I suppose. Um, I think that's more correct with his feet down. And we'll do a couple arms here. Oh, wow. This is the worst and creepiest build a figure ever. Oy. Definitely kind of a perfect one for this camping pack, right? Like they're camping, they're just like, oh, la, la, it's perfect out here in the forest. And then, oh, gosh, it's Spider Guy real life spider guy and he chases them all around. So there is your build a figure. One of the most haunting and disgusting things I've ever built with these extra legs. The abdomen I think is what is really disgusting and throws you. But I had to do it. I had to see it. Um, yikes. There it is. Have fun with that build if you're looking for it. Thank goodness we have some bug spray for this guy. Just, yeah, just go. Yeah, just more, more spray, more spray. Just more, 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 more. Finally, got rid of that dude. Okay, a couple more packs. My most favoritest new find of game this year for me was Build a Boat for Treasure. I love this game. I have been building a fleet of boats to test out on the gaming channel, so it's gonna be another month or so before I'm ready. They should be pretty fun. It's just a jolly good game. This is the Swashbuckling Seafarers. A little dusty, you can see I've been holding these for so long. So glad to finally get to them. I think this will be a fun pack. On the back, there's the course as the boat goes through the rocky tropical region. Build a boat for treasure. Treasure is great and glorious away just beyond the ocean horizon in Chill Studios. Build a boat for treasure. I love this game. We've got, we have character figure Chill Thrill 709 Gold and the worthy one included. Kind of steampunky. And the game in itself is kind of steampunky, so I think these figures represent it pretty well. Let's see what we got. 
Simple but well executed, we have a small, probably your first build a boat for treasure, although it may be kind of hard to get that mast. I can't remember. Did you get that early on? You definitely get some wood blocks early on. Just a simple little boat display piece. Probably doesn't really float in life, but what does in the game actually? Just slides across something rough. Watch out for rocks. Chill Thrill 709 in gold. I love the golden figures, always fun to look for. Very steampunky sword. Uh, clip on the back to hold the sword, so cool figure. And worthy one also with that clock hat, maybe for the clock zone. Kinda hard to see his face down below. He's winking at us under that bandana. I think I'll take that bandana off. Eh, might actually look better with it on still. Kinda like a bum character ready to set sail on a boat across several maps. What do we have for a face under here? I'm curious. Uh, oh, just a winking character. Very nice, nice little touch there. So, great little pack. Build a boat for treasure would be perfect for its own series, wouldn't it? Like a bunch of blocks that somehow attach together, like wood, concrete, steel. That would be so fun. I don't know if it's as popular for it, but I would be into that. We've got a virtual item code, a boat floaty. One last pack, yay, I've been so wanting to get all of these open for so long and play. Uh, we've got a single character pack from the, oh, what wave is this now? Series 12 still? Oh, that reminds me, we're not even close to being done. We still have a few more character boxes to go. Um, so Series 12, we've got Funky Friday, Funky Cheese, also so funky, uh, dusty. I love the full suit of cheese here. Microphone stand, which I just broke. Speaker and amazing cheese character piece. So is he like the gentleman ghost of cheese? Kind of got a ghostish head with cheese on his head and cheese arms and legs. Definitely a figure to place in my figure lineup hall of fame because it's so funny. Kind of has a SpongeBob feel in a way. It kind of feels spongy. Also yellowy scarf, kind of a scarf suit. Exclusive code is this uh, scarf of melted cheese witch scarf. And I love the mic stand and the speaker, anything. Uh, today with mics and cameras, the squirrels love to set up as a piece. Gonna have to check that game out. It's just a great looking figure. These are the figures that make up so much fun of the series. So if you recall last time, uh, we did open some Series 12 boxes and that's when I said, oh, I was gonna open all of this stuff and never did, and now finally have. Uh, but I did wanna open up a few more boxes because what had happened, if you recall, we had two of these and two of these and maybe two of something else. We had so many repeats that I felt like I did not represent the series enough I wanted to try maybe three more boxes today three more boxes to say hey let's look at some different characters let's try this one I feel like I'm talking really fast today and I haven't even had my Mountain Dew yet oh jolly good we start with something I have not seen before who is this guy from kind of like a machine gunnist virtual item code combat helmet with goggles Ah, from the top of the list, it's After the Flash, Mirage, Sophia. Oh, it's a girl. Kind of hard to tell with that one either or, but looks great. Nice little soldier figure, a nice extra to find. If you recall, I was really hoping to find there's a Shark Bite Studios character, there's an alien. Just one more really interesting character from 12 I would love to find. Ah, what do you know? It's another big brain simulator guy. I can't believe it. This is the third or fourth Big Brain Simulator guy. I think it's telling me to play Big Brain Simulator, don't you? It is pretty funny though. It is a cool, actually very unique character piece out there, just with a giant brain. So another one of these guys. Shark bite. Shark mascot, please. The clown killings would be terrific. There's a scary mimic girl doll. Uh, there's some really great ones and I just keep seeming to pull repeats. Downside of these repeat collections, especially now, and today are very expensive items. I kind of feel like it's time to say goodbye to uh, mystery stuff. Um, it's just too painful on the wallet. Creepy doll! We pulled the creepy doll! Oh, this is perfect. This is what I was looking for, everybody. Living through so many multiple repeats. Yes! Creepy doll! From the Mimic Biwaki? Biwaki? Is that how you say her? Oh, wow. Maybe more so Day of the Dead versus Creepy Doll. It's not a doll. But we've got a very interesting character piece. I'm gonna have to search out this game and learn about it. And we've got exclusive code, Traveling Baird Loot. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, imagine this 
This is another great camping, camping figure. They're all camping, enjoying some nice marshmallows. They're delicious! And then, boom, she shoots out of the tent. Ah, you know, that's perfect. How many more of these boxes do I have? I think I have two more. I thought I had three, but then I noticed I had two more over by, behind me, so. Maybe I must have collected another Roblox. That's probably what I did. I usually try to spell Roblox uh, on them, and I so I buy a series of six at a time. Seems like a good, good way of not breaking the wallet completely. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Look what we got. Another Big Brain Simulator. I have now troop built Big Brain Simulator guy. I know I have at least four or five of these guys now. Um, they're troop building. Another thing to scare the campers. A bunch of big brains. Okay, what do we got? Almost through this. I'm so glad to finally get these open. They're so cool. And give me a little room for incoming new things too. Oh, the odds say it's another big brain. So, whoa. Um, pieces are going to flying. Oh, we have this one too. This was that really cool military red Canada figure. Kind of creepy uh, faceplate. Oh, that's good. We can cover it up. That was Blocks Royale Battlegrounds Shotgun Militia character. So we saw her before, or and that, my friends, a ton of Roblox character figures. Wow, we filled the table. That usually will happen with the, some of the large pack sets with multi-figures and even just the collection of the build-up figures. Next thing you know it, you got figures all over the place, accessories, virtual item codes. It's amazing fun how they've done Roblox all these many years. So there you go. That's today's video. What do you think? Please give us a squike, a score live. Squamit your favorite Roblox Series 12 character. What's coming soon? for Roblox? I don't know. It's always hard to tell, but I'm sure there'll be more things around the corner. Thanks so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.